You're listening to the Telltale Channel. Don't forget to check me out on all social media, Patreon, Twitter, Teespring, and Etsy. All links can be found in the description or on my website, telltaleatheist.com. Hey, this is Owen. If you're comfortable, leave your first name and state at the sound of the tiny truck backing up. Oh, this is an uncivil discussion, I guess. Do you think Islam is a a cult? Short but sweet voicemail. Um, Do I think Islam is a cult? I talked about this a little bit on the last one because I've had people accuse me, quote-unquote, of not covering Islam because I don't like I'm an SJW or some other nonsense like that since I started my channel. I have covered Islam, but I do not think it's a cult. Now, let me explain why I say that, and maybe I can get you on board with me. Cults take very specific forms and, and use very specific tactics to control people. Some of the specific tactics that cults use involve behavior control, information control, thought control, and emotional control. In my opinion, to be a cult, there has to be some sort of hierarchy that's enforcing the rules. Some for, some hierarchy that's enforcing behavior modification through a system of rewards and punishments to kind of create this cult identity. A lot of the time when cults form, they form with extreme unity. Like, look at Jehovah's Witnesses and their whole belief system. There is so much unity in the religion. Some congregations will differ on some issues here or there. Like, my congregation could play Pokemon. Um, but other congregations couldn't. Some congregations can read Harry Potter, but others can't. Small, little deviations like that. But you won't find a Jehovah's Witness congregation that is okay with people getting a blood transfusion or getting an abortion or something like that. Uh, If you do happen across something like that, everybody in that congregation would be disfellowshipped All of the elders would be deleted, and it would be removed from the religion completely. It's an extremely serious thing. They, They have to have unity of mind. So for that reason, I say a category like Christian or feminist or something can't be a cult. By definition, a category is not a cult. Only groups, not categories. You have to drill down and get specific with the the groups that you're talking about if you want to identify it as a cult or not. Islam is a category. There are a lot of subgroups within Islam, and there are Islamic cults, but Islam as a whole is not a cult, just like Christianity as a whole is not a cult. So that's kind of my position on it. Now, I did mention feminism earlier, and I'm just going to elaborate on that a little bit. There are groups out there that don't have a hierarchy in the strictest sense that are still cults. You can have a cult without having a hierarchy. It's possible. When there is a group that has cult-like tendencies, a hierarchy organically forms if none is present. Like, for example, in Facebook groups or Twitter groups or just friend groups or whatever. Some way of people gathering and communicating with each other. Reddit, sub, uh, I'm sorry, subreddits, things like that. You'll find that people organically form a hierarchy. uh, And some of the ways that they do that is by proving themselves to be the most pure, quote unquote. I'm not really sure how else to phrase that. Showing themselves to be more pure in the ideology than the other people around them. And when that happens, they'll say things like, they'll say some really, really extreme stuff. Or they'll create memes that are really, really extreme because they want to show people around them that they're very, very committed and they believe this to the death. 
when they do that, the people around them like pat them on the back, give them likes and say, yeah, you're right, 100%, I'm with you. It's kind of the nature of social media in many ways. So I'd say in a lot of cases, if you're dealing with a group that has a hierarchy that's forming organically like that, it's probably through social media. At any rate, the question from the voicemail was, do I think that Islam is a cult? Islam is a little bit too broad to call a cult. Um, Christianity is too broad to call a cult. There are Islamic cults out there, 100%. There are Christian cults out there, obviously. They exist. And there are non-religious cults out there. QAnon is a political cult, for example. Lots of interesting stuff to research. If, if you're ever wondering about non-religious cults, you can check out QAnon. Pretty cool thing to research. Really, really sad in many ways, too.